Taylor, got you now, you sex maniac. What the? Who is this? Oh my god! <sighs> Howdy, friends, Clobber here, and today we are playing. Let me try that again. Howdy, friends, Clobber here, welcome to today's adventure. No, that's not my. <laughs> Gosh. Howdy, friends, Clobber here, welcome to today's journey. So, on today's adventure, we're playing some Alakra again. So, um, in the last part, to pretty much give you a whole overview, this is Anna on the home screen. This is her phone. We found her phone when it somehow came to our doorstep, and Anna is missing, so it's our job to find her and save her, but this phone is really creepy. A lot of scary shit happened in the last one, so go check out that video if you haven't seen it. But anyway, the phone actually just reset because of something that happened. But luckily, everything's still here, and we actually have a new vlogger video. So let's watch that before we go on to anything else. From the Office of Admissions, the University of Cunningham, we have received your application to the School of Veterinary Science. We regret to inform you that you have not been shortlisted. Blah, blah, blah. We thank you. Blah, blah, blah. They didn't even say why. And they have to take three months for this? <laughs> Ugh, this is not helping! What the hell is going on with the fucking event fan or whatever back there? Yeah, what the, the hell? Okay, well, anyway. That's that. So she got rejected from vet school, which we already know because of the emails, I think. So, um, now we have to go back to texting the Greg. Okay. If her phone is erased, is on you. Hello? Fuck. Please tell me it works. If the data is gone, I'm going to fucking kill you. I cannot lose Anna. Uh... The data is still here, I think. Thank God. Oh, God. You fucking scared me. I thought we were going to lose our progress. Um. It restored itself automatically. If it works, it works. I'm not going to question it. This is too much weirdness for one day. Okay, here it is. I found something on our laptop. Porn stash. <laughs> There's a time and a place for everything. This is not it. <laughs> Unlike you, I actually found something useful. There are some phone data backed up. One here, and one at her workstation. That means there might be more stuff on the phone now than what you see now. Okay, the work we have, I'm restoring her laptop first. Um, great, let's get started. Okay, starting. System restore. Please wait while I restore your device. Do not switch off or just raise in the progress. Oh, so we're recovering some stuff. Okay, should be done now. Did you get it? Great, more of Anna to see. <laughs> hey. Tone down the creep factor. There's something else. I was looking through a notebook. Is there something you're not telling me? Uh, I'm not hiding anything. It says... In her notebook that she met someone on Spark. Didn't you mention that she matched with some people on Spark? Yeah, it's Taylor. So you've been talking to this guy all this time? How much have you told him? I told him everything. <laughs> you what? Everything? Jesus. Did, any, did anyone ever taught you to not trust everything people say? Especially if online. Fucking basic common sense shit. Uh... We got this far with his help. Well, I'm not... Well, I'm not in... in I can't fucking read, dude. I'm a fucking boy boy. Boy boy, I can't talk anymore, too. So you better stop listening to his crap and do as I say. Stay on the line. I'm going to make some calls. Get to the bottom of the spark thing. All right. Well, geez, we have a lot of new stuff. Oh, my gosh. And she posted again. See, this is going to be an interesting day. I can feel it. All right. Jump scare me. Okay, didn't jump scare me. Thank you. All right. So we have some more... <sighs> Taylor, please. Taylor, please. We just started this video. It's too early for this. Um, let me s wait. Why okay, wait. No, no. I don't why would any of this be important? Oh wait, this is from Merv. Hey Anna, looks like you're my receiver for the next week's company gift swap. I know that the gifts are meant to be a secret, but I don't like giving gifts that you ultimately don't want. So I'm, so I'm breaking the tradition and we'll get you something that you truly deserve. <laughs> Tell me your body size 
and I will pick the perfect dress for you. No, you creepy asshole. Why? Um, make sure to give your bust, waist, and hip measurements. I want to get it right for the first time. This, the, oh my gosh. No, I will not love Merv. Fuck you. Alright, um. Alright, nothing. And I got your application, but the boss is sitting on it for now. It's regarding that thing you brought up. Text me when you're in the office, and I will exp explain best regards. Okay, alright. So the emails aren't really important. So we have a bunch of recovered Ashley and Greg texts. But I want to talk to my dude Taylor, so... Uh, let's see what, let's see what's recovered. Titanic, what? It's my icebreaker. Hey, that's pretty good. Alright, God, I gotta give you that. That's, that was a good one, Taylor. Aha, that's cute. People died, though. Yeah, I need to work on that. So, an animal person, eh? Dog? Cat. Only one, I hope. One of those handful are ready. And I'm not the crazy cat lady age yet. So your profile says you serenade upon request? Yep. You sing? Occasionally. Prove it. I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I want your heart, love, and emotion. Endlessly, I can't get over you. You left your mark on me. I want your heart, love, and emotion. Endlessly, I I can't with this fucking Taylor, dude. Oh wow, that's not bad. So is it true that you shot that Shari gives better acoustics? Yes, but I have to store the soaps and shampoos if I sing there. Interesting. Why is that? Otherwise, it would be a soap opera. This dude has puns galore, dude. Haha. <laughs> okay, got me on that one. Did I get something in return? Your number, maybe? I'll think about it. But you gotta give him your number at least. Taylor is. Taylor is a very sly dog. Hey stranger, anything? Anna posted something on Jabber. Looks like she's chilling at home. I guess she's alright. Uh, I wish that was true. You know, maybe you're overthinking it. Maybe she just wanna be left alone. Uh, wow, no wonder you're single. Let's get practical, Taylor. It's okay if you don't get it. No, I, I, don't, I get it. I'm not taking this seriously enough. So what happened exactly? Did Greg check her house or something? What about the post? He heard a strange noise, but no Anna. What? Explain. Uh, here's the recording. Uh, wait, which one? Wait, wait. Oh, crap. Which one was it? Was it this? Do you, Anna, take Tobias the cat as your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward... For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Yes, I do! Alright, that's not what I... Ah, that's not what I needed. Wait! You're not allowed to fuck clients! That's not what I meant to send. No, I... You're not allowed to fuck clients! I don't know what that's part of, though. I don't see how that's relevant. Anyways, about this Greg. Anna would be would have called it by now for phone if she was okay. And somehow she makes a post exactly the same time that Greg is checking on her. Doesn't sound a bit strange to you. Occam's razor. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, um, let's see. I don't think any of these are true. The e, uh, but the uh, simplest answer is often correct, I guess. I don't think that's true at all. Right, so let's say, hypothetically, there was a possibility that Greg somehow did something bad to Anna, and he is hiding it from you. Just a random thought. What if Anna is deliberately trying to get away from Greg? Maybe he bombarded her with calls and messages to the point where she just went screw it and chucked the phone away chucked the phone away all to my doorstep i don't um why would he do that though well, that's the thing i don't know but think about it what kind of person is greg uh he's kind of a dick i won't lie and he's a pretty sweet gal 
Why would she date someone like him? Being verbally abusive is not far from being physical. Um, you mentioned that. I'm about to delete this game. Stop making those noises, game. You mentioned that he got blocked in her apartment. Aha! If they are indeed lovebirds, at most you won't have the keys. But getting blocked is a strong word. Maybe she is keeping him away. The phone data was almost deleted when he checked her laptop. This is troubling. Is he is trying to obstruct justice? I think he is hiding something big in the phone. Otherwise, why would he want to delete the phone's data? Um, I don't think he did it. He said every guilty person ever. All I am saying is I think there is more to Greg than he is leading on. Again, hypothetical. What else he told you? Um... And I met someone on Spark. Right. And there's a possibility that a hot girl like Annette will get matched more than once. Uh, yeah, you're right. I don't think, I don't want to blame Taylor or anything. I don't want to accuse anyone of anything, because we have no evidence. I'll never hide anything from you. You can trust me. Scout's honor. I think we, before we move on, you need to confront him. Call him out. Um, I got a new batch of phone stuff to look at. Like a backup? Great, he's hiding something. I can feel it. If he did something to Anna, we need to know what it is. Remember, to get your facts straight and ask him about his actions and behavior. Maybe he'll slip up and tell you something we don't know. Another random thought. What if Greg killed Anna? Oh, jeez. Oh, maybe kill is a strong word. But what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up? And all you hear from him is a lie. Huh. Um, like I said, that's kind of reaching, Taylor. I mean, I don't want to accuse Greg of anything before we know anything. Hey, you're mad. I can tell. You don't just storm out of the house without saying anything. Tell me. Tell what? I want you to tell... I want you to tell me why do you think I'm mad. Tell what? Oh, oh shit. Here we go again. Oh, damn, that was really easy. <laughs> Who the hell? Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Hello, hi. I'm looking for Anna. I believe this is her number. Hello? Uh, I think this is the answering machine. I'll just leave a message first. This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We received a report from one of your neighbors. She mentioned that there was a suspicious-looking guy entering and exiting your residence. Can you confirm if this is true? Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Thank you and good day. Okay. Um. Actually, this is something I never thought of. Why don't we just call the police? We need to tell them what's going on. Uh, emergency services, yes. Let's just tell the police Hello. what's happening. Hello. This is an automated police emergency response. Your call is important to us. Sorry, all of our operators are currently busy. If there is an immediate danger, please press 1. If you please state your emergency. For murders or manslaughter, press 1. For aggravated assault or battery, press 2. For domestic disturbances, press maybe, 3. Maybe 3. For burglary, press 4. For kidnapping, oh, press wait, maybe 5. five. Uh, five? Please hold while we transfer you to one of our operators. Man, I don't have time for this. Alright, never mind. I just won't. Alright, let's go back to talking to Greg about his recovered shit. So wait, what does this picture say? Ferris and Kane X okay. Um Yolanda XOXO. Ooh, Greg, are you cheating? Greg, are you a little cheater? A little cheater or something? How do I oh wait? You look through my phone? I knew something was up. You could have fucking told me. How long were you going to wait? Fuck. I made a mistake. I can explain. Please do. She was the client I need last for I need for last month's target. We went a few times after work. She's persistent. I made a mistake. I own that. But everything over that was not me. Bullshit. Anna. What? 
it's inclusive. Have to try it tomorrow. That was a pregnancy test. Great. You cheated on me and almost got her pregnant, Greg. I mean, I knew this guy was a douche, but oh my gosh, he is 100% douche mode. This is unreal. I told you I'm not allowed to just get rid of clients. You're not allowed to fuck clients. Oh, that's where that voice recording come from. Jesus, Greg. She was the last close I needed. I know it's hard to believe. I don't fucking care. Anna, leave me the fuck alone, Greg. Anna, let me fix this. Oh, so that's what Greg did. He cheated on her. Not only cheated on her, but almost got the woman she was cheating on him with pregnant. Jeez. Alright, what is Ashley? Um, how you feeling, pretty girl? Bag of rocks. Bag of those bricks made of poop they dry out in development dessert com communities. They use, they use them to build amazing house units with decent insulation, a stable, small rural economy. And the non-profit takes a glammy picture of whoever people in the CEO and you feel weird. Because you're like, is this picture boasting about helping people or is promoting the CEO and their self-interest somehow? In the background, a pick of some unused extra poop bricks and get rained on or turned to. Form my blessed poop form and eventually dry on the sun. But leave nothing but a stain and I am that stain. Alright, cool, Anna. <laughs> hey, um, God. I just read my text. I am so, so sorry. Can you do me a favor and just ignore all of it? <laughs> I had a wee bit too much to drink last night and I have no idea what I was saying. I'll make it up to you, okay? I'm going back to sleep, so I'll catch you soon, all right? All right. Well. Anyway, with all that out of the way, now we have to go back to texting Greg. Greg, I need to ask you something. What? Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. So you're a shrink now. What is there to talk about us? Why did she block you from her apartment? Or are you both still together? We had a small argument, but I am still her boyfriend. Couples fight all the time. Nothing a good talk can solve. Um, something still doesn't add up. We are dating. Why are you bringing this up? Um, ooh, you got Yolanda pregnant, did you? No, no. This, that is a private matter. If that doesn't tell you where Anna is, then don't fucking read it. Uh, you screwed up real bad, man. I gotta be honest. You screwed up. I'm not saying another word about it. Um, let's talk about your attitude, dude. Like, why are you such an ass? What about my attitude? I have nothing to do with your feelings right now. Um, can you be a little nicer sometimes? I'm not chicken coding anything for you. Just deal with it. Uh, uh, you didn't hit her, did you? Huh? Hey, too far, man. I, I did not lay my hand on her. I would never physically harm Anna, ever. End of discussion. Um, if you say so, but maybe she's running from you, I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at the facts. She didn't She didn't show up for work and she's not at home. Is she hiding from her job and family as well? I mean, her job doesn't seem that good and her mom's kind of an asshole, so I wouldn't blame her for hiding from her too. She is missing, not running. Let's talk about Anna's place. We are just grilling into Greg right now. What about Anna's place? Did you activate the phone reset? I told you I didn't do anything. Are you calling me a liar? And I wanted the phone erased. Why the hell do I back back up the phone for you? Um, that's true. I mean, that doesn't really make sense. I hope you're done wasting my time. What's with all these accusations? Make your point. Um, you're not completely honest with me. You are a random person who somehow got Anna's phone. I'm not telling you any more shit. You have nothing on me. See, so if you want to start pointing fingers, make sure you have proof. Why are you so defensive? Why are you so intrusive? I don't have time for this. I'm not going to entertain any more questions about my life. You have nothing on me. All right. Well, I actually do have something on you because I have this vlog. 
What if I didn't? What if I just went on living a lie? And he can do it, looking me dead in the eyes. God, and he hasn't stopped texting me since. What, what does that mean? Does he still love me? Then why would he... You know what? I hope it's positive. I hope she's pregnant. Yeah, he always wanted a family. Now everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Jesus, man. Dude, I feel so bad for Anna now. He doesn't deserve good. He deserves Taylor, bro. Taylor, my man Taylor, he seems like a nice man. Um, let's, oh, what do we tell him? Anna left? Now we gotta tell him the juicy details. Greg almost got someone pregnant. Holy hell, that is a cheating son of a gun. No, he's a son of a bitch. That's what he is. This is better than I thought. Worse. I mean, it sounded really bad. Who's the lucky girl? Yolanda. Exotic name. You know, that sounds like a motive to me. Messy breakup, fight, things get a little violent, who knows? At least you should call her and ask if she knows anything about Greg. Like a cynic opinion, get it straight from the stores. Great idea. That's the spirit. Now go get her, tiger. And remember, we're here for Anna. This is necessary. Find Yolanda. Find the truth. <laughs> All right. So we know from... Oh, uh, wait, was it, come, was it from the camera roll, or... Yeah, right here. Um, that is the Ferris and Kane number. So, maybe... Can we call them? Can we, can we actually search up what Ferris and Kane is? Oh, right here, right here. Recently visited. Okay, site's loading. Alright, oh, call now. Ferris and Kane. Welcome to Ferris and Kane. Your personal shopper directory. Press 1 to request for a shopper. Press 2 to add. Yeah, Thank we, you. We need a request to help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press 1 for robes and cloaks. Press 2 for dresses. Press 3 for innerwear. Press 4 for shoes and footwear. Press 5 for gowns. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please press zero. I guess two? Does if it really matter? If you know the extension number of oh, your favorite is. shopper, please press the four-digit extension number. If you wish to be assigned to a random shopper, please press 1111. Okay, so that would be 0405 zero, because zero, I was Thank the extension you. number. Your personal shopper assigned to you is... Yolanda. Yolanda. Due to our increasing <laughs> demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. After this call, please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience. Thank you for picking Ferris and Kane. You're Have welcome, a nice I guess. day. Oh, there she is. All right. Uh, text. Thanks for using Ferris and Kane. My name is Yolanda, and I'll be your shopper today. But well, may I assist you? Um. I need, I'm not here for shoes, lady. Perhaps you keyed in the wrong extension? No worries, it happens all the time. Up, oh, did not mean to go back. Um, I'm here from the police department. No, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna talk to you about Greg. Greg? Summers? Who is this? What did that asshole put you up to? Um, so we both agree on something. <laughs> he ruined your life too? What else is new? Eh, he didn't really exactly ruin my life. Look, if you're looking for Darwin Greg, I'm not getting involved with him again. Um, I think he killed Anna. He kidnapped Anna. I think he broke into Anna's apartment. But no, we're not gonna lie. And I'm not gonna accuse him. I'm just gonna say he's looking for Anna, because he is. Why do you need him for that? I think he's fully capable of finding that perfect little... Ooh, jeez. She has gone missing. As in missing? As in Sarah is missing? <laughs> We need to call the police kind of missing? Oh, I see it now. If you're implying that he actually did something to Anna, I highly doubt it. 
He didn't even have the balls to break up with me face to face. He's too chicken shit to be a criminal. Oh, so Greg, weren't you the Nah, 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 you know what? Yo, Clambert, go replay that one clip from um, the first part. If she wants to break it off, she should at least say it to my face. Yeah, Greg, you talking all that mess, but you even, you even staying true to it. So you two dated. Ha! More like, spi more like side girl booty call. Uh, he cheated. Yep, he certainly did. Oh, yeah. I am all in for some casual fun. But having a girlfriend was time, that's a low blow. When she found out about me, all hell broke loose. And it ended up being the other girl. Uh, did he get violent? God, no. He is not the he is not the hitting kind. When it all comes down to making a choice, of course you run for Anna. And I get the half-ass voicemail breakup. Oh, send it to me. Hey Yolanda, I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, I think we should stop seeing each other. Like immediately. It's not just that it's no, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, and I want to make things work with her. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, eh? No hard feelings. Jeez, what a dick this guy is. Um, so he is a two-timing bastard. Yep, so he is. At the end of the day... He still cares about her. If only he knows how to show it. However, he thinks I'm a bad person. Um, it's not your fault. If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have stopped immediately. Stupid me. I hope that was helpful. I gotta get back to work now. Thank you, Alonda. What the hell is this? I miss the days where opinions can only go as far as you can yell. Thank you, Brandon McKay. So. So who do we talk? Do we talk to Taylor then? What the Albert? Yo, from Flamingo? Oh, okay. Well, hey, what is your deal? Seriously, where's the head at? Uh, before I talk to you, we got a new vlog. Love is being there. Love is being honest. Love is. Being, belonging, love is patience. Hmm. Love is Jeez, Anna, are you freaking XXX Tentacion now? Like, she probably, she's just talking about some deep ass shit. But anyway, yeah, Greg has royally screwed up Anna. Thank you, Greg. Where? What is your deal? Seriously, where is the head at? Yolanda just called me. Um, I just want to know the full story. And I have the full right to do so. No. I don't care about your excuses. You have crossed the line. She is pissed and confused. You brought her into this mess. Um, I'm really sorry, I had to be sure. I'm not gonna apologize to this chick. The personal affairs have nothing to do with you. whoop de doo I cheated on Anna. Now that it's out in the open, would you stop digging into my life and get back on track? Only because you asked so nicely. Just stop and use your head for one second. Just one. Have you ever considered that this what's-his-face on Spick is just sticking you around? Come on, what do you really know about him? Why are you gasping, phone? I didn't even make a decision yet. Uh, he makes a lot of lewd jokes, but I think they're cool. Puns! Okay, hey, no, not that the fat, no, not the lewd ones. I mean, like, the puns. What kind of nutcase will joke about someone going missing? It's like he lacks any kind of empathy. He did sidetrack the investigation. I mean, not really. He was just trying to make sure. So pointing the finger at me was his idea all along, and he said that I am the one with things to hide? I wouldn't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. Um, he's just eccentric. He's a nice guy if you look, if you can overlook those things. You disagree? 
I'm not the only one who thinks he's dangerous. Look what I found. Spark-related crimes soar as increasing number of felons use dating apps to target victims. What? Uh, related national sex felon website. Dating apps have been linked to more than 500 crimes and in almost a third are sex offenses. Figure so. Oh my god! Oh. 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 Oh, that was such a mean jump scare. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. Oh. All right. Thank you, Simulacra. It is talking about the recent rise in spark-related crimes. There's a link at the bottom that brings you to a registry site. Um. Could be fake news. It sounds horrible. You want to know what's horrible? The jump scare that the game just hit me with. And true. You said that Anna marched with several people on Spark. Anna is no book mentioned that she met someone. I can feel like we are getting close. Punch in all the names of first Spark matches. See what you can find. Alright. Fuck, man. Gosh, that was such a mean one. That was a mean one game, and you know it. Alright, well, uh... So we gotta type in their name. Um, we're just gonna type in Taylor's first, I guess. So he said his name was Pereira, right? Is that his name? No records found. Uh, crap. What did he say his name was again? Can I uh, go all the way back up? Wait, before I talk to him, let me see. Oh, Taylor Pereira. Okay, that's his name. Pereira. Oh shit. Found six matches. So we need more information. Oh wait, right here. Oh, okay. He's 22. Oh, from Springwood. Okay. I have voice crack right there. Come on, please. Shit. Opening gross lewdness and lewd. Ah, oh, that's a big word. Lewd behavior. Indecent exposure and public sexual ind indecency. Well, that that depresses me because I really like Taylor. Um, I got the dirt on Greg from Yolanda, right? You did it, buddy. So what is it? Uh, oh god, I'm almost about to die. That's not good. <laughs> um, he's too much of a coward to hurt Anna. Seriously? That's what she said. That's what she said. I guess my theory on Greg making Anna disappear is too far fetched. Um, an asshole, but not a criminal. Are you sure Greg didn't let anything slide? Can you, can your source even be trusted? Uh, ooh, I don't really like any of these replies. Um, information is a, who, whoa, that is not my intention. I think he's hiding something, that's all. Uh, he's not the only one. I got nothing to hide. Are you sure about that, buddy? You didn't find anything, did you? If you have something to say, spill it. <laughs> oh god, okay, this is a weird response. Okay, well... Some girls do agree I can pull off some sweet moves. Damn. You found the damn registry, didn't you? Uh, yes, I did, Taylor. I know it looks really bad. A guy in Spark being a sex offender is as bad as it gets. Can you hear me out, please? Uh, what the hell did you do? You have to believe me. Alright, tell me. It was an accident. I'll make it quick. Um, I want all the juicy details. <sighs> okay, so I was at the mall and I had a huge glass of iced tea right before and I had to pee. Real bad. The bathroom was closed on the floor I was on and the next one is really far away. I see where this is going. <laughs> so I went to the stairway and peed there. And this lady with the kid came through the door. I was exposed. Next thing you know, Laura was involved and I was charged. That was your only crime? You gotta believe me. You can technically call me a criminal, but I would never harm another person. Come on, you can trust me. Said every guilty person ever, bringing back his words on him. I'm not. I know it sounds weird, but this is not about me now. I have to follow so many strict rules from the NFW. 
I'm that I'm practically branded. You know how hard it is to find a job? Um, sounds awful. I'm just keeping my head low. If I mess up, it's strike the jail for me. I would never do anything remotely illegal. So let's keep this between you and me, huh? Uh, I will. Alright, your secret's safe with me. I knew I could count on you. What the hell? Did you lie to me? I just told you not to tell anyone. Uh, what's wrong? Greg. He added me on Jabber. Oh, he's definitely pissed. How the hell did he find me? Uh, I might have told him about you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, she added me on his phone. Oh, what? Busted. Oh, he created the group. He added Taylor, too. Taylor, got you now, you sex maniac. What the? Who is this? How the hell you got my number? Shut up, rebound guy. Can both of you guys spell correctly? I don't know what Anna should be with. You stay out of this. Greg? Uh, it's about time you all work this out. How the hell you get my number? The internet is a resourceful place, especially for finding curves like you. Wow, from cheating to stalking, can someone hand him the best boyfriend of the year award? What I do in my private life is none of your business. You're the one who drove her away in the first place. How about I drive my foot up your dick hole? Ouch. Uh... I think you guys are missing the point. We were all on point until the shifter brain showed up. Look, man. Anna wants you to move on. Why can't you respect that? She would be she would be better with really anyone else but you. So Mr. I can keep my pants up is somehow an acceptable choice for her. He said I have a criminal record. That's a low bro. Eat popcorn. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say something? What do you want me to say? I'm not done with you yet. What the hell did you do to Anna? If you touch her, how can I even do anything if I haven't met her yet? She imagine that she's meeting someone on Spark from a notebook. Have you considered that there are literally millions of lonely single men out there and there's a bunch of weird noises in the background? Of course I did, and I'm starting with you. That's not working smart, man. I just want her back. Um, there is a smarter way to do this. We are wasting time here. Now that you made it so clear, don't we all want the same thing? Same thing, different reasons. But we all want the same thing, we just want Anna to be saved. Finally, we are agreeing on something. No, I am not agreeing with you. You are the one that accused me and threw everyone off. Hey, it's not my fault that she left you. Uh, get, get your head in the game, Taylor, calm down, Greg. Uh, we are all partly to be blamed. Agreed. Debatable, of course. If you're going to be like this, fine. I can prove that I didn't meet Anna. Fan fucking tastic. Show me. My spark messages. It's all there. I will prove that Anna and I never planned to meet. He is telling the truth. No. I want to see it with my own eyes. Can he be any more insecure? Her phone. She also she cleared some data not long ago. And she backed it up on her home computer and the one at work. If I can access it, I will have all the proof I need. Whoa! I think you're on to something. If we do that, we might be able to know who she met on Spark. Damn, that's true. <laughs> Finally. Focus on what matters. Uh, that's cute. <laughs> Don't you have anything useful to say? No, I love making puns. <laughs> Maybe you can somehow call her office? Ask her on for help. Get someone to get to her computer or something? What kind of shitty idea is that? I say I'll just walk right in and get it done myself. It's gonna be easy. Uh, let's call her office. I think that's way smarter than me. Excellent. Maybe she has friends that we can trick into getting to her computer? we wasted enough time already. I'm not playing charades to get something that important. Are you doubting me? I'm just proposing alternatives. Uh, both of you have good points. I'm done listening to you. I've done listening to you. Good grammar. I'm just gonna walk in and get the job done. Plain and simple. That's too reckless. Let's find a more indirect way in. Just call one of her work friends. 
I know her better. She has no work friends. And what makes you think that you can use the computer so easily? Taylor's idea is the best. Two to one favor. And that's how democracy works, kids. <laughs> I feel like we are becoming the... Okay, fine. Be that way. I'm not playing games with you jokers anymore. Do as you please. I'm going anyway. We're making so much progress. I'm not working with the rebound guy. I'm going to find Anna. By myself. Go get the backup from our workplace. You're away. I'll do mine. I swear. If you should end up meeting you, you won't hear the end of it. Greg left. Well. Say what you got anything to say? Okay. So that just happened. That was really fun. <laughs> that was such a whole song, my fucking gosh, Greg. What do you want now? Look. Sorry for the outburst. It's not meant for you. I just want to make things right. And I gotta do it on my own. If we met under other circumstances, maybe we would have got along. I doubt it, but there is a possibility. There, I said it. I guess I appreciate that, Greg. Maybe if we, we maybe if we just bumped into each other, bumped into each other at a bar instead of me and you trying to look for your missing girlfriend, maybe we could have become friends. I don't know. I can only imagine what you do on your days off. Elite is elite. I need to know who Anna, I need to know who is Anna close to their work. Do you match the emails? Read them all. Uh, her boss is kind of an asshole. There is this guy who is harassing her. Harassment. Nailed it. We can use this. Wow. Harassment is finally good. Are you some, are you up for some blackmail? Um, I'm thinking what you're thinking, buddy. Use that email against him. Tell him that you're turning him in. Threaten him. Make him feel bad. I don't know. Ask him to do your bidding in exchange for her harassment email. Uh, I can work with that. Okay. If he is in the contacts, get started. All right. Do we have any more? Okay. Wait. Oh wait. So we have. Okay. Well, thank you, Taylor. That didn't get me though. Oh, it works. <laughs> oh crap. Sorry, sorry. No need to stuff. respond. I uh, just want to try to call Anna's phone, see if it's working. Been trying to get it, and I, I finally did. I guess next is to find her? Yes, yeah. for God's sake, Taylor, <laughs> so, please. Yeah. Please date Bye. Anna instead of Greg. I'm sure she'd be way happier. So, okay, there's this guy. Don't care. We got two new texts. Oh. Um. Okay, you know what? No. I've been recording for... Wait, how long have I been recording for? Oh, once again, an hour. Cool. So I'm going to end it off here. Um... This episode is really juicy. We learned why Greg and Anna split off, right? We had two jump scares that got me. The one after the registry link was really mean game. But we learned why they split off. And we had that little confrontation against Greg and Taylor right there. And But now we know the plan. So, Greg is being an idiot once again. He's being a dickhead once again. And he's going to try to walk straight into, his, into the office. Um... Taylor, though, me, me and him are going to go in the smart way, and we're going to blackmail Merv into getting information that can prove that Taylor is not the bad guy. Because I believe he isn't, but Greg wants proof, so let's give him proof. So, this episode's really juicy, and I, I know that the episodes can only get juicier from here. So, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, we're going to stop it here, alright? If you enjoyed this episode, then... Um, like the video, subscribe so you know when the next Simulacra part is out, and tur turn on notifications so you know when the next part is out. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.